What's up, guys? Um, I'm back with another video, which I know, shocker, she's getting consistent. Um, but yeah, so the goal with YouTube right now is to be as consistent as possible. I want to get out videos at least once a week, and I have a goal with YouTube now. It's to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Um, I think with consistency, effort, you know, just making it happen, um, I think we can really achieve that goal. So, um, if you're not subscribed, please, please subscribe. Um, it'll mean the world to me. And, um, yeah, let's just get into the video. Um, for those of you that don't know, my name is Kat. Gains by Kat with two T's on Instagram and TikTok. And, um, yeah, I just felt to, like I should just pick up the camera and just start recording. Um, I'm not too sure what this video is going to consist of. But I do know that I want to include at least a recipe or two. And right now I'm about to make breakfast. So I thought, you know, let's pick up the camera and show everyone how I make breakfast. Because everyone on my Instagram wants to know how I make my oats. Second order of business. It is Tuesday. I don't know how to do that. There we go. Tuesday, October 25th. Which means it is a check-in day for me. Um, my check-ins, again, are always on Tuesdays. And so I sent over the pictures to my coach, and now I'm just waiting for a response. I woke up at 119.9, which is absolutely wild because the goal when I started was to hit 120 pounds minimum. Um, and so the fact that, like, we're already there and it's been, like, about 10, 11 weeks um, feels really, really good. Um you know, gaining weight is hard, but, you know, we're making it happen, and I'm extremely happy with my progress, and so I will put a picture of the check-ins I took right here, right now. I'm going to give it a second. There we go. Um, scroll down my face because I look like shit in the morning, you know, happens to everybody, but, um, no, I'm really happy with that. My glutes are growing. You can see, like, in the front pose, like, my glute, like, is way more evident than it used to be, like, at the beginning of my journey. Um, and I really thought I had a glute going on there. And, you know, now it's just, like, unbelievable to see the progress. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but, yeah, I'm really, really happy. Obviously, my delts are in a good position. Um, but, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys my check-ins, update you guys. And, obviously, I will film a segment, you know, talking about what my coach says in response, if things are staying the same. Um, for a bit now, I've been at 400 carb, like you guys know. Um, 130 protein, and I believe it's 60 fat. Um, it's a lot of calories, a lot of carbs, um, but I'm really, really happy with how far I've come. So um, let's get into breakfast, and again, I'll update you guys as soon as I get an update from Kayla. So see you guys. This is what you're going to need to make the oatmeal breakfast that I have every day, the protein oats. So you need old-fashioned Quaker oats, your protein of choice. I use raw protein um cookies and cream flavor today you can use code cat to save on all raw and revive purchases so this is my favorite protein besides the mint chocolate chip one um that raw has so i highly recommend you know you get on that so n then you need a peanut butter of choice i use this one because if you look at the ingredients can you even see them? Basically, you just want your ingredients to be the nut butter. Like, if you're having almond butter, it would be almonds. Or if you're having peanut butter, it would be peanuts, obviously. But you want just the nut and then maybe salt. So this one has salt in it because it's salted, obviously. But um, no oils or anything like that. Keep it as clean as you can. Then I use the Driscoll strawberries, and that will be a topping. Grab your bowl. I'm going to move all this. you're gonna need a scale so put your bowl on the scale set it to zero then pour in 60 grams of oats because we are bulking we eat a lot of food so that is step one step two follow me over to the sink so hold on I'm gonna turn the water on okay then you add water till it's like actually that's not enough. There, till it's like saturated. That's it. Then you walk on over to your microwave. Open it up. Put the oats in there. And I do a minute and a half. So one, two, three. Minute and a half. Okay? So 
Now you wait for that to microwave. While it's in the microwave, you can cut up 65 grams of strawberries. So I like to cut it up into little pieces because this will be your topping. So I'll just show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so don't come for me. I do not cut stuff on a cutting board because I don't like extra dishes. So I'm gonna cut it on a paper towel. Usually it's about three decently sized strawberries that adds up to 65 grams. Um, so I'm just gonna use these three. Um, but yeah, you just cut them up. And then if you need more, obviously weigh out more after the fact, but it is what it is. It's about to beep, sorry. I don't like when the microwave beeps, so I stop it um, a little bit before it beeps so I don't have to hear that fucking noise because it sucks ass. So, um, yeah. We'll just cut them up real small. Let's see, I'll show you. Oh shit, oops. Like, whoa, can you even see that? Like that, see small. Um, then I'll wait after, but okay, hold on. I'll resume that in a second. So then you take your bowl out of the microwave, so it looks kind of like this. Still very watery, because what you do now, zero it out. I just hit zero. And I'm going to weigh out 25 grams of this raw protein. Um, you can use whatever protein, again, you like. I love this one, so I'm going to use this one. But just weigh out oops, 25 grams. Back on. No shit, cat. I don't know why I'm announcing everything. So then, okay, I'm a psycho. I love long and small spoons. Like, can you see it? Look at that. Oh, look how long that is. Literally, this is my arm. Like, it's a long spoon. So then you add a little bit of water. I'll show you. Like, literally that much. Like, barely any extra water because there's still water in the oats. And I make my oats cakey. So then you just mix it in until you have like, like this kind of consistency. Like really, really watery. Like you wouldn't eat it like this because it's going to go back in the microwave. But not like soup and not like a cake already. So then you just put it back in the microwave for 30 to 40 seconds. It depends on the protein you use and what ingredients are in the protein. So I... With this whey isolate, if it doesn't have casein in it, it needs like 40-ish seconds. But if it has casein in it, it makes it more thick more easily. So if your protein has casein, only do like 25 to 35 seconds. Whereas mine would be like 40 to 45. Okay? And then finish cutting the strawberries so that they're ready to go. Okay, so I believe I have enough strawberries. So now, here's the hack with the peanut butter again. Put your peanut butter on the scale, then hit zero so that basically you have the jar on top of the scale, but the scale is reading zero so that you can minus, like it'll go into negative numbers to count out the um, peanut butter because if you are, you know, doing your peanut butter to the point where like you're scooping it off of the scale, and then you lick your spoon instead of plopping it onto your bowl that's on the scale. Like you're just eating like probably like ex an extra five whole grams of peanut butter that you don't even account for. So what? it's at zero right now and I need 14 grams. So, oh, you need 14 grams of peanut butter for this recipe. So scoop out 14 grams. Now, see it says 14. So negative 14 because I minus from the zeroed out jar. So now, I like to spread it across the top so that I can get peanut butter with like every single bite. Um, it doesn't always, not me licking my finger, um, it doesn't always spread nice because it like kind of sticks to the oats, but just do your best because then it's like frosting on a cake kind of, okay? Then you put this back on the scale. And you measure out your 65 grams of strawberries. If you're over or under on strawberries, it really doesn't matter. They're such a low calorie fruit. But um, just get it as close to you as you can to 65. Like that's 67. And this is the final product. Here is your cakey oats. And yeah, that is breakfast.
calories and macros for the meal will be here because why the fuck would you want to make a recipe if you don't know the calories and macros? I wouldn't. So they're right here. Enjoy the best oats on the fucking planet. Not a day goes by where I'm not drinking one of these. So I did want to mention that 3D and I are best friends. Do I have people in my DMs asking me if I drink energy drinks every day and if they think that my heart's gonna have issues? Yes. Does it bother me? No. Do I tell them I'll be okay? Yes. I will never stop. All right, I gotta check an update. Basically, she said, I'm proud of you for getting that food in because I told her I did really well with my nutrition this week. And she said, I know it's tough, but you should be adjusting more and more as the weeks go on. The feedback is great. I'm super pleased with this bulk. Basically, she sent me like a side-by-side, -side, which I'll show you. Um, if it'll focus. I don't think it's gonna focus, but. Basically, it's a side-by-side -side of like my first check-in to my check-in today, and she said, you turned into a woman, which makes me feel incredible because I've always been super, like, str like when I was lean, I was super stressed out about looking a little more curvy and all that stuff, and now I just feel so feminine and proud of myself and strong and just, like, incredible. So the fact that she said that, and then she told me she's getting emotional because she remembers how much, like, I used to be so scared to gain weight, and now I'm, like, fully embracing it, and she can, like, tell. So it just feels really good to know that, like, all my hard work is getting acknowledged by my coach, who I look up to the most, and, like, just the fact that I feel really good is like extremely, it's just, I don't know, I'm just really happy. And um, yeah, it's, it's great getting that kind of response. She said, we're not gonna push food again this week, so everything's gonna stay the same. So 400 carbs, 130 protein, and um, 60 fat. And then she said we might push in the future, like next week probably, so I will update you guys on that. So that's the update, and yeah. I should mention that this hoodie with the Young Alaya up on the hood, can you see? And the Young Alaya right here is dropping November 1st. Um, it's gonna be an exciting drop of some other stuff too, but this is the most amazing sweatshirt that Young Alaya has dropped, um, besides the Monarch pullover hoodie that just restocked. Anyway, it's not really a promo, it's just me being obsessed with it because I think the hood is sick and I've been wearing it all day, even on campus to class, so highly recommend. I'm going to class now. <laughs> Shh, don't be rude. <laughs> like, it's gorgeous. Okay, I just got back from class, and I am gonna show you guys my pre-workout French toast recipe, Um, because I told you guys this video is gonna be full of recipes. So, let's get cooking. Hold on. Similar to how we did the oat recipe, I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients. So you need egg whites, you can use the actual egg whites from like an egg. I just find it easier to get the carton. Um, then you need unsweetened almond milk. I get Almond Breeze or Silk brand. Make sure it's unsweetened, because if it's sweetened, it's significantly more calories, so be careful. You need peanut butter. I'm using the same peanut butter as I did with my oats. Um, and then I use protein cookie butter powder, which I believe I have a code with them now. You can use code CAT to save and to support me. This is like, it's like kind of like PB Fit, but like all kinds of different flavors because it's like cookie butter. So I'm using the birthday cake vegan one. I also have like cookies and cream whey. They make whey and vegan. So I'm using the birthday cake um, vegan one, but any of them work. So you need, hold on, I left the fridge open. Um, oh, duh. And sugar-free syrup, my most favorite condiment on the planet. You also need bread. I use nature's own honey wheat bread because it's elite. 70 calories a slice, good amount of carbs. That's, that's the plan. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna weigh out 80 grams of egg whites. So this is gonna be like your protein. So, okay, whoopsie, I accidentally did 82. It's fine. So you need 80 grams of egg whites, and then 85 grams of your almond milk. So 85 grams, 84, perfect. Actually now it says 83, whatever, around 85. Then hit zero again, and then you put 10 grams of this cookie butter powder. It makes it kind of like have like a pancake outer layer that like gets kind of crusty and like Amazing. Then you just mix it in with your fork. If you want it to be extra sweet, you can add um, you can add stevia or any like zero calorie sweetener. Um, I think it's sweet enough without it. Sometimes I add it in, but 
it is what it is. So then you mix it until like, hold on, I don't know if you can see. You mix it until it's like kind of bubbly, cause then it like, it, it makes it a little more fluffy when like you dip the bread into it. I don't know. I could just be making that up. And then your peanut butter is gonna go on top. Obviously not in the mixture. I almost just dropped the whole fork in there. So that's how you make like the mix. Here, looks like that, like kind of. Okay, then you make sure your pan is hot. I just go like this and if it feels like it's gonna burn my hand, then it's good enough to go. Then you take your three slices of the Nature's Own Honey Wheat Bread and really, really like dip it in there. Make sure it like really gets nice and soaked into the, like the mixture. Um, and then you just throw it on. Fuck, my pan was not hot enough. It was supposed to sizzle. Oopsie daisy, I'm impatient as fuck. So, dip, 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 whatever. Make sure you spray it first, obviously, or else it'll stick. Then, you just soak it all up. And, just lay it on there. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna wait for these to cook. I'll show you guys the final product, and then I'm gonna spread some peanut butter on top, and that'll be that. Okay. Now you need a butter knife and your peanut butter. Same hack as before. Whoa, excuse me, I don't know what just happened. Put your peanut butter jar on, I just had a brain fart, on the scale. Jesus. This is not it right now. Okay. So you put it on the scale, hit the zero, then you subtract, right? I don't know if this is enough. So you need 14 for this. You can put more or less, whatever you want. I use 14 for the macros and calories that I'm going to show you. This is the final product. Um, I'm going to spread the peanut butter after, like I said, and macros and calories and all that stuff will be probably somewhere over here over my phone, something like that. Um, but yeah, that is the final product. I'm going to eat this and a Rice Krispie treat, and then I'm going to go to the gym. dinner post-workout meal whatever you want to call it um but i'll show you guys dinner i didn't really film it as a recipe because it's just 215 grams of rice um 92 8 um ground beef and then broccoli um i think it's 3.3 .3 ounces of beef and then 100 grams of broccoli 
Um, so that's the post-workout meal slash dinner, and yeah. Okay, so I have two Oreos a night as well as a pumpkin spice bagel, and I am beyond excited for this. Look at what I found at the grocery store, guys. Snickerdoodle Oreos, cinnamon flavor cream, and crunchy sugar crystals, and birthday cake Oreos. That's the other one I'm gonna have. I, wait, that might, the sound might have cut, but birthday cake Oreos and Snickerdoodle Oreos. I've had the birthday cake ones, those are fucking fire, but the Snickerdoodle ones I've never had and I'm so excited and I will do a live taste test right after I shower because I'm actually fucking disgusting, but I will show you guys a live taste test and let you guys know what I think and if they're worth it because they are limited edition and yeah. It's time to taste test. Smell. Divine. All right, ready? Three, two, one. This is like Christmas in an Oreo. I would highly recommend this. I personally would give this a 9.5 out of 10, but overall, it reminds me of Christmas, and it's a solid fucking Oreo. Okay, it's the next day, meaning it's Wednesday. Um, it's noon, considering that I was at class literally from 10 to just now I just got home. I didn't really film anything this morning, but I'm about to eat. I ate breakfast, and I'm about to eat my pre-workout French toast meal that I did the recipe for um, yesterday. Um, and then I'm going to go hit push, so let's fucking go, and I'll try to film what I can. Try to make another montage, so double workout. We are going to the gym now. I didn't do an outfit thing, but I'm wearing my Iron Revolution hoodie from when we went to New Jersey. Throwback. Thanks for the hoodie. Um, and then I'm wearing a black Rambo tee from Young LA. I don't remember what bra I put on. Yes, I do. Gymshark, white bra. And then navy Young LA for her shorts with my fucking crusty ass Air Forces. But don't worry. I'm getting Jordan Lowe's soon. Treat yourself. I solemnly swear, from this moment forward, that I will never lose again! I will never, never be defeated! set up my camera um so i'm filming on my phone but i finished up at the gym a while ago and then i came home um ate super quickly went to another class and then got back and literally this is what i did i made chicken and sat in front of my laptop and finished up a study guide for my history class for probably the past two and a half hours straight without stopping hell on earth but you know i finished it up we're fine but it just sucks that like a lot of my energy is going to a class that's like not even for my major, which is like, what the fuck? 
Um, it's also a 100 level course with like all freshmen, so like fuck you for making it hard. But like, you know, whatever. So I'm about to make dinner. I'm just making ground beef, rice, and broccoli like always. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the vibe. Super, you know, boring night. But I did film the push workout and the leg workout from yesterday. And I think I'm gonna call the end of the video um, tonight at some point. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the recipes, the workouts. All right, this is the outro. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know, I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of 2022. I think we can make it happen, you know, with consistency. And I have some big videos coming mid-November, Alpha Land. And um, I think that'll be a great time. Um, also, I want to know what you guys thought about the recipe videos and, you know, the double workout stuff. Just the format of the videos. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, I think that the life of a bodybuilder can get kind of repetitive, so I think imply blah, whoa, implementing recipes and showing, you know, all my workouts and, like, all that stuff, I think that'll be beneficial. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I will... Catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much again for watching and I love you guys.